Yes, Lord, we celebrate your goodness tonight. Come on. Good morning. This is Psalm for the Day coming to you from the Redeemed Church of God, Central Parish, Abuja. Our Psalm for the Day is Psalm 131, verse 2. I'll read Psalm 131. Lord, my heart is not haughty, nor my eyes lofty, neither do I assess myself in great matters, or in things too high for me. Surely I have behaved and quieted myself as a child that is weaned of his mother. My soul is even as a weaned child. Three let Israel hope in the Lord from henceforth and forever. Like I said yesterday, according to Bible scholars, Psalm 120 to 134 are referred to as Psalm of Ascent. Today, we're looking at Psalm 131, one of those beautiful denier of pride, arrogance, and self-centeredness Psalm written by David. It is obvious that in Psalm 131 that David was expressing his humility, his commitment to abide by the will of God. Yesterday, we look at verse 1 of the psalm. Today, we are going to focus on Psalm 2. On verse 2. Verse 2 says, Surely I have behaved and quieted myself as a child that is weaned of his mother. My soul is even as a weaned child. Weaning is when a baby moves from breast milk to other sources of nourishment or food. It's a process that takes patience and understanding from both the mother and the child. And it's usually a difficult process for the baby because the baby prefers to continue on the breast milk. A child that is here to be weaned embraces her mother with the thought of getting milk for immediate satisfaction. On the other hand, a weaned child embraces his or her mother for out of love, closeness, and companionship. David had desire to draw near to God, irrespective of the situation. He refers to contentment of his heart like a wind child. He is telling us that as Christians, we must be contented. Many of us today are looking for shortcuts to happiness and fulfillment, including money, position, relationships, achievement, but none of those can bring genuine satisfaction. Only Jesus can give true satisfaction. No wonder the same David declared in Psalm 16, Psalm 16, 5 to 11. The Lord is the portion of my inheritance and of my cup. Thou maintenance, my Lord. The lines are falling unto me in pleasant places. Yea, I have a goodly heritage. I will bless the Lord who had given me counsel. My reign also instruct me in the night season. I have said the Lord always before me. Because he's at my right hand, I shall not be moved. Therefore, my heart is glad and my glory rejoices. My flesh also shall rest in hope. For thou will not leave my soul in hell, neither will thou suffer thy only one to see corruption. Thou will show me the path of life. In thy presence is fullness of joy. At the right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. David is telling us here that he is fully rested and contented in God. That is what we must do as Christians. I pray that God will show you the path of life and surely as you rest on him, he will give you a goodly heritage in the name of Jesus. In Philippians 4, Philippians 4, 11 to 13, Paul also highlighted this, stating that he is contented in whatever state he finds himself, concluding that he can do all things through Christ who strengthen him. In verse 11, says, Not that I speak in respect of want, for I have learned in whatsoever state I am, therewith to be content. I know how to be abased, and I know how to abound. Everywhere and in all things, I'm instructed both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Here Paul alluded to his contentment. Rested not on the circumstances that surround him, but on his security in Christ Jesus. Brethren, I encourage you to be contented in Christ. It will always exceed your expectation. In 1 Timothy 6, 6, 1 Timothy 6, 6, Paul asserted that godliness with contentment is a great gain. David had quiet contentment with God and found rest with God. May you find rest with God in the name of Jesus. May you find rest with God in the name of Jesus. In Psalm 62, 
Psalm 62, reading from verse 1 to 8, David tells us that his soul is connected in God. Verse 1 says, Truly, my soul waited upon God. From him cometh my salvation. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be greatly moved. Verse 5 says, My soul wait thou only upon God, for my expectation is from him. He is only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be moved. In God is my salvation and my glory. The rock of my strength and my refuge is in God. Trust in him at all times. Verse 8. Ye people, pour out your heart before him. God is a refuge for us. Brethren, let your soul be content in God. He is your defense and you shall not be moved in Jesus' name. However, your soul can only be contented in God if you give your life to him. That is why I encourage you today to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior. As you do so, he will bless you on every side in Jesus' name. Our Father and our God, we thank you for your word today. Father, we ask that you give us the grace to rest fully on you and be contented in you like a wind child in the name of Jesus. God bless you. Have a glorious day.